Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We have an exclamation mark at Earth. Well, we have a request mission, Earth Topography, which is a nice mission. Challenging, though. But we have our milestone mission here. The Modular Space Station, which we're going to plan. It only takes one month. And all that science, all that support. Let's do it. Let's plan that mission. We'll definitely give it extra power. And it has a crew capacity of 3, starting power of 12. It's expensive. 4.2 million. We need a lucrative mission soon. Let's build that payload. That'll take 8 months to build. Uh, no one else has even has the research for it, so we'll definitely be first. We're researching the X-ray telescope, and we are about to launch our Jupiter orbiter, which we will be first to do also. It's demanding. Demanding is the fourth level of mission difficulty. These missions will pose a serious challenge to most players and will almost always involve special resources such as drift, heat, or... Uh, heat or drift, as well as multiple tasks or phases. It has three phases, takes 49 months. Let's launch it. 61% payload reliability is not good. That is not good. Now, we're rescheduling this. Even though it's a Jupiter mission, 11% risk of critical failure. I'm not doing that. Reschedule launch date December. Jesus. That's in a year. All right. Hopefully, no one else is doing this. Uh, Jupiter orbiter. No, no one even has the science for it. All right, well, that was a bit of a letdown. We have our funding route coming up, though, which is good because we will reach the next level of funding. 765,000 up from 714,000. And let's look at science. Yeah. So we're here now. We'll go down to around 1,300 for a couple of months, then down to 800, and then down to 400. But we have missions, so... The Uranus flyby, nothing to do for a long time. The Jupiter orbiter, nothing to do for a year. This will complete in three months, then we need to build a vehicle. Our vehicle here will build in nine months, and the modular space station payload is done in eight months. So there isn't actually a mission coming up for a long time. All right, funding review. Very good. And we now need to hit 90,000. Wow. Okay. Did anything interesting happen? Not really. We don't have any active mission slots available, so let's just go to the next event. Payload component issue. Your engineers have discovered a manufacturing error in a key component of the Svesta payload of your upcoming modular space station 3 mission. The estimate they estimate a 10% reduction to payload reliability, which is currently 65%, unless you commit funds to replacing the part. We'll replace the part. Okay, we are making around half a million um, a month, so... Far slides of the moon. A series of exhibitions have sprung up across various countries featuring images from your recent mission to photograph the far hemisphere of the moon. Humanity's first glimpse of the far side of the lunar surface. Gained 100 support. Okay. 
And our Mars prep sample retrieval payload is complete. Plus 50% boost of build cost. That sucks, but the build time is okay. Payload reliability is 80%. I like that. Let's design a vehicle for it. We can't. We don't have the research to design a vehicle. Damn. Damn. All right, well, I guess we're changing our research to a vehicle. We needed the Ariane 6, we need, whoa, it's all the way down here. Damn. Well, we'll research the supplementary Titan 3Cs. Damn. All right, well, next month. And next month. Let's just make sure. I did not notice that at all, man. Yeah, so it's all down here. This isn't even good enough. Man, we have a lot of vehicle research to do. A supernova study proposal. A group of astronomers have made a target of opportunity proposal involving dedicated use of your space telescope launched in the space telescope mission. The project involves a predicted reappearance of a supernova, the light of which was previously seen being warped by a galaxy cluster and which lens models suggest may be observable again Im imminently. The project will require funding but has a chance of producing additional science. We'll approve it. You have approved the proposal. The astronomers estimate they will deliver results, positive or negative, in three months' time. Okay. Next month. And next month. Ti two times Titan Three research is complete. The modular space station payload is complete. So... It unreliable but we have a lot of power and we have three astronauts on board uh, we, we can reuse our shuttle here we'll go with the advanced shock absorption for a little bit more reliable payload so the Beetlejuice it is we fit that take three months we need to research some more. So we have two boosters and three upper stages here. They each take 4,000 science. 32,000 kilos, 26,000 kilos. Ariane is much more reliable takes six months to build this only takes five months to build gets seven reliability per level this only gets four the titan four is cheaper let's go with the ariane five what do we have over here our quest mission our earth control systems checked Ooh, money Ooh, more money All right, and Solar Observatory. That was the mission that we blew up, wasn't it? Um, that would be nice too, because we really need the science. Well, we have some missions that we want to do. Empyrean is complete next month. Supernova fails to appear. Damn it. A recently approved proposal to observe the reappearance of a supernova using your space telescope has ended in disappointment, as it failed to appear as predicted. However, data obtained during observations of a related, a related galaxy cluster assured that no science has been lost due to the project. Okay. So at least we didn't lose any science. All right, Joe Small Moon Survey Vehicle com Complete, plus 10% launch liability, minus 10% payload reliability. 
So 60%, so we'll be doing payload reliability. And I think we'll go to January. Confirm. All right, Beetlejuice completes in a couple of months. Minus 50% launch reliability dependency for suboptimal launch windows and be a very reliable. We need some crew on board. We want Jadius on board because we want science. We want our bootstrapper on board for extra power when we recharge. And then I think we'll put a celebrity on board, Rossi, for the extra... Um, the extra uh, support. I think we'll go with the science here, because even though the payload is only 70%, we have a lot of power. We have the bootstrapper on board. We have three astronauts on board. So I am good with that, and we'll go in March. Confirm. And next month, we're launching the Jupiter Orbiter. And in two months, we're launching the Jovian Small Moon Survey. All right. Jupiter Orbiter time again. Launch. Please don't be bad weather. Good conditions. Good. 6% risk of catastrophic failure. Don't do it. All right, we have lift off. Clear the tower. It's looking good so far. It's looking good so far. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, we're in space. And we got a secure launch, very nice. And the Titan III and the Athena get a little more reliable. Very good. That is a cool looking satellite. All right. Uh, enter Jupiter transfer orbit. We need five comms, 15 nav and 15 uh, thrust. So we need to hit this three times on the last turn which means we need six data and we need a total of 18 nav. Okay. I guess we can do that. We have six turns, three commands per turn. Let's start by doing a signal attenuation test. Then we'll do a manual thrust adjustment. And then we'll boost the transmission. That gives us seven comms and two nav. Now, we're way over our comms already, but it's okay because we can use our comms to get a lot of nav. So, confirm that. Our satellite isn't super reliable, but it's reasonable. Nice, an extra comms. And we have quite a decent amount of power. So we'll do a manual thrust adjustment. Then I think we'll do two ultraviolet imagings. That gives us more than enough uh, data. So let's do that. We'll resist that. Accept that. And ultraviolet imaging is ultraviolet. Very nice. Okay. Let's do emission control monitoring. Then we'll do two manual thrust adjustments. Confirm. 
We'll resist that. And the second manual thrust adjustment was right on the money. So... What we could do now... is a manual thrust adjustment, a signal attenuation test, and a recharge. Then next turn, we can do this three times, the calculated thruster burn, and we'll have won. Getting our 50% bonus reward. All right, so one, two, three, 50% bonus reward achieved. And we can resist all of them if need be. Ooh, that was close. That failed, but we'll just resist it. And that takes us there. All right. And people are on their feet. Okay. 549 support and a tiny bit of science, but for a long time. Okay. China completed Jupiter flyby. NASA is launching crude moon landing in 19 months. Jesus. All right, we need to launch the Jovian Small Moons survey next month. And we have the funding review next month. We, nothing much has happened this time around. Payload isn't the greatest, but launch reliability is very good. This is again a long mission. 1% risk of going boom. Let's see. Very good so far. Systems nominal. Pushing through max Q. And we're out of here. All right. Ooh, and we got a positive event. Plus one turn on first task and mission. Nice. And the Titan and the Athena max out. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. We need five comms, 15 nav, and 15 thrust. So we need 18 nav and six data. It's basically the same thing as before, only we have drift to contend with here, which we need to keep within... Uh, a minus one to plus one margin on the last turn. So we'll do a signal attenuation test. Then we'll do a manual thrust adjustment. And then we'll boost the transmission. That gives us seven two. So it's basically the same as before, only we need to deal with the uh, the drift. So which means we can't really use this, which is the best way to get data or nav, sorry. So we'll have to use get nav here. Or here. What if we did this twice? And then this. It gives us five and ten. Pulls us one more back. Uses a lot of power. A heck of a lot of power. Okay, we're down to two power, but we have five turns remaining. There's no need to panic. 
I'm actually considering just doing this. You know what? Let's do that. Just get some power back. Then we can do two Doppler trackings and a recharge. That gives us everything we need. We can resist. We can resist again. That means that we can just recharge again. Let's do that. Our drift is in alignment, so we can do calculated thruster burns times three. We can resist it times three, and we get our 50% bonus reward. And resist that. And there we go. All right. And a bit more science for 20 months and some support. Now, the Mars prep sample retrieval we can't do yet. We need a lot more research done. Wow, solar telescope. That's a nice mission, man. We're launching the modular space station next month. So let's hope the weather is better better this time. We have 98%. Or uh, we haven't tried to launch the modular space station before, have we? Um, it was the Jupiter orbiter that was we had to postpone. All right, good conditions. Basically, no risk of negative effect. 1% risk of critical failure. Let's go... We're watching the countdown here. One. And we have ignition. Ooh, and we have liftoff. Cleared the tower. Go, shuttle, go. It's the Beetlejuice that's going. Go, Beetlejuice. You can do it. Pushing through Max Q. All good. Systems nominal. And we have launched our space station nice Hermes is just so reliable it's wonderful look at that all right we need to achieve earth orbit we need to deal with some drift uh, we have three astronauts on board and we have a lot of power the module isn't super reliable but it's good enough we need to get it to three uh, by the end of the last turn so we have four turns we have four commands so we could do a manual data collection which 30 and 15 wow then we can do a what there's no way to pull it back so if we do this then we can only do this one time that'll take it to three but then we can't use this Wow. Let's do that. And an orbital plane adjustment. That takes us to 9, 7, and 2. It's a good thing we have a lot of power. Very good thing.
Okay. Oh, it which will be reduced to zero at the start of the next turn. Aha. Uh -huh. So at the end of the last turn, we need to get three over. I get it. I get it. All right. So that means that we can do this. And... Do that. And then do that. That takes us to 29 and 4. I'm fine with that. Man, the failures here. Okay. It's a cool look looking module though. I like it. I like it. Uh, Alright. Let's do that again. And that. Then do this and that. We have two turns remaining. So we need to get four nab next turn, which we can easily. All right. Nice. Three nav. Two nav. Nice! That worked! Alright, so that basically means that we need to do this and this. That gives us, us our 25% bonus reward. We can recharge twice. Our drift is aligned. Everything is perfect. And we can assist that. Very good indeed. All right, we achieved Earth orbit. Then we need to deploy the module systems. We have Grift to deal with again. And we need 20, 20, and 5. And our Drift will be reduced to zero at the start of each turn, and it must equal 5 when we're done. Okay. So I think we'll do the manual data collection. Then we'll conduct some experiments. Then we'll do a gyroscopic stabilization and emission control monitoring. That gives us 10, 1, and 2. Alright, didn't have to resist anything this time. Alright, so what are we doing next? I'm thinking a couple of gamma ray detections. A overall plane adjustment. And then boost the transmission. That takes us to 10, 16, and 3. I think that's a pretty good place to be. We'll resist that. We don't want that reduced by 2. That's for sure. Okay. Two turns remaining. We need a lot of comms. What if we do this? Then we can do an orbital plane adjustment. Actually, no, let's not do that because we need to do that next time. Let's Do some mission control monitoring. And then a uh, plasma wave analysis. 
That almost takes us there. So let's do that. Nice. Ooh, that was close. And all good. All right. So we need to remember that we need to get this up to five. So we'll do one of these. Two of these. And one of these. That takes us there. We can recharge, giving us five power. We have the bonus reward. We are right on the money with the drift. And we can resist everything. So that works for me. Okay. Nice. Done. We're in orbit. Well, we've turned on the system. Wow. Look at that space station. Wow. That is so cool. That is just too cool, man. Wow. All right, modular space station three first. Some extra support. We get 5,000 support. And 426 science for 20, 20 months. Good, we needed that. And the boys will be on the station for a while. And we got an achievement, Eighth Wonder. All right, so that means that we have an active mission slot available. And I want to do... I think I want to do the solar telescope. It's challenging. But it's a lot of science. 8,880 science over 120 months. It's over such a long time though. 2,600 science over 6 months. 2,600 science over 6 months. Hmm. We have the lucrative mission as well, but I think what I want most right now is science. And urgently. So I think I'm going to go with the solar observatory here. Give that some extra power. Okay, we have the Mars prep sample retrieval, which we can't do still. Let's continue on. Well, celebrate ISS. Worldwide media is dominated by stories heralding the completion of the International Space Station. A popular news website described the orbital station as a excuse me, as a monument to the boundary pushing Boundary pushing bravery of United Space Nerds. Gain 300 support. Nice. Around if five research is complete. We will do. Let's see. You all cost about the same. Reliability, you are best than you, than you. But uh, the reliability per launch will actually take this up to being better. Or the same, actually. I think build time is seven months, five months, and six months. Let's do the Ariani. Um, and continue on to the next month. When the goes will be complete. Minus 5% launch reliability. Hmm. 
And let's design a vehicle for it. The Ariane 1. Or the Star. 1% launch reliability. Uh, this was an experimental fuel thing, wasn't it? So if we do the two Arianis, then we have a 48% launch reliability. Let's try and get that up a bit. That's a 53% launch reliability at least. I think it'll have to be the Atlas and the Ariane. Then we will do advanced weather proving? No. Reinforced tank walls plus 5% launch reliability. Let's do that. That takes the launch reliability up to 58%. That is not great. Uh, actually, you know what? Um, we can... Do the Messier Aerospace, which gives us a 10% boost to the launch reliability for an extra month. Let's do that. That takes us up to 68% launch reliability. Build that. Okay. And I guess we'll continue on. What are the others doing? Exoplanet Hunter. Ooh. That's also a nice one. What is everyone else doing? NASA is doing the crewed moon landing. They did the space station. Uh, Soviet Union is researching the modular space station too. Uh, the most recent milestone is the Mars lander and the upcoming launch is a space telescope. NASA is researching water sound suppression. Uh, China is researching Tianzhou 1, which I guess is a rocket. Uh, the most recent milestone is the Jupiter flyby and the upcoming launch is a lunar orbit in five months. Whoa! They passed us to the X-ray telescope, didn't they? Bastards. Jupiter Orbiter is researching space telescope, and then they're going to do the X-ray telescope. We haven't even started researching that, so... Well, we have, but we didn't complete it. We're actually well on our way to researching that, but let them have it. Let them have it. Has anyone researched the Mars prep sample receiver now? All right, next month. NASA completed phase one of Venus orbit. Okay, let's just go to the next event, which is next month, because we'll complete the Ariane 5 research. Which means that we need to do some more research. Max distance outer planets, max distance outer planets. Let's do the Titan IV booster, shall we? No, let's not. Let's do the upper stage DCSS. And then we can start doing the Ariane 6 soon. We probably need both of them, right? Yeah. We've stalled a little bit at the moment. We have stalled a little bit at the moment, which is not good. 
The others are catching up. All right, solar observatory vehicle is complete. Maximum mission, maximum mission training bonus is increased by 100%. Uh, I think we'll do science, even though we're not very reliable. And then we'll launch in March. Confirm. Okay. Well, I think this is a good place to end this episode. Our funding review is coming up in three months. Then we have the Solar Orbit Observatory launch and then we have three next phases so yeah and hopefully next time we'll be able to complete something that will will allow us to launch this bad boy but anyway thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time <laughs>